Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As we come together on this uh, Sunday morning, I'd like to extend a happy Father's Day to all the fathers throughout our congregation and for all those fathers who may be listening in on our worship service this morning. I hope that you have a wonderful day with your families. We ask uh, all of our folks to keep our members and their loved ones who are fighting COVID-19 in their prayers. During these troubling times, it helps to take a moment to reflect on the blessings that we have in our lives, to give thanks for them, and to find ways that we can share them with one another. Let us also keep in our prayers those in our country who are enduring the violence and injustices that have recently occurred. May we seek the peaceful and just reign of God in our lives. During the service this morning, we ask that you stay muted until you hear the music for the hymns. My daughter, Julie, will unmute us all so that we might sing together. And so we gather this morning for worship in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Join me now in the call to worship. And your response when I pause is, this is my Father's world. We see the beautiful sunshine and blue skies. This is my Father's world. We see the green and golden grasses of the field. This is my father's world. We see the flowering meadows and green tree leaves. This is my father's world. We see the birds, insects, and wild animals. This is my father's world. In faithfulness, let us praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Our first hymn is, This Is My Father's World.
let us draw near to God and confess our sin. Join me in prayer. Burn in us this morning, Holy Spirit. We give you the places of our hearts, places that have been choked by the cares of this world. We give you our tiredness, our sin, our struggles with apathy. We await your fiery cleansing. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. I declare to you in the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. May the God of mercy who forgives you all, all your sin strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. Please share a sign of peace with those who are near you. I'd like for all the children at this time to draw near to the uh, computer screens, the monitors, and I have a message to share with them on this Father's Day. It is a message entitled, Washing It Away. Washing It Away. Good morning, boys and girls. Have you ever eaten something very hot and spicy? Did it burn your mouth? If so, what did you do when that happened? Well, you might have lifted up a glass of water and taken a drink from it. But that can make it burn even more in our mouths. The best thing we're told to do when we have something like that burning in our mouths is not to drink a glass of water, but to drink a glass of milk. Milk has a protein in it called casein, and it will wash away the burning feeling and make our mouths feel better. Ah, that tastes much better. Milk can help us out. Strangely, water will only make matters worse. Today, we're talking about how sin hurts our lives, the bad things that we do in our lives. Hurting God, ourselves, and others, that's what sinning is all about. We can't get rid of our sins, no matter how much we try. Sins are like hot, spicy food, and they burn within us. We can't stop the burning of sin with, well, with glasses of water, that won't work. Only Jesus can take away our sins. Jesus washes our sins away, just like milk washes away the hot, burning feeling of spicy foods. When Jesus died, he took away our sin. Believing in Jesus will take the pain of our sins away, and they won't control us any longer. Amen. Let us pray together. Gracious God, help our children to believe in your love. May they find the joy that comes when Jesus takes their sins away. May your Holy Spirit Help them find the newness and excitement of sin-free living. Amen. Take care, kids. It's good to be with you this morning.
And now we'll turn to the scripture lesson for this morning. It is from the Gospel of Matthew in the 10th chapter, verses 24 through 33. Our Lord taught, a disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them. For nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. And then Jesus said, what I say to you in the dark, tell in the light. And what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. We are blessed this morning in the hearing of God's holy word. Amen. The sermon for this morning is entitled, Watch for the Roomba. Watch for the Roomba. On Wednesday, my grandson Cole started his fourth birthday by waking up at 2.30 in the morning. He told his mother, my daughter Beth, that he wanted to see all, all of his birthday. And so she sang happy birthday to him. Happy birthday, Cole, at that early hour of the morning. And then she wisely put him back to bed. And later in the morning, Cole got up and went with his father, Scott, and his two sisters to a little park called Owl's Nest to fish in a pond that's located there. Cole is still seeking to reel in his first fish all by himself. He's had him on the line, but he gets so excited when a fish starts to splash as he reels it to the bank that he needs help. And needless to say, Cole is enjoying the creation blessed by his heavenly father. And I'm sure on this Father's Day that our Heavenly Father grins when Cole is there by the pond or the stream fishing, for it's a delightful thing to see. On this very special day, I hope and pray that God's love is reflected in the eyes of all our Freedom's fathers as they fish and bike and cook on the grill and hike and read to and hug their children, or as some like me may be doing in this time of social distancing, I hope that they will enjoy making phone calls to their children and chatting on video with them and waving to their grown children when maybe they stop by for a social distanced drive-by. Indeed, gone are the days when shows on TV like Father Knows Best ruled the small screen. We live in a time when dads are often depicted as bumbling, insensitive, distant, and dim-witted people. Some of you may remember 
the wonderful story of the family who had three small children who were determined to have their own little puppy dog. Mother protested because she knew that somehow she would end up caring for the puppy. The children solemnly promised that they would take care of it. If only she would let them have their own puppy. Finally, mom relented and they brought their little puppy home. They named him Danny and cared for him diligently for about a month. And as time passed, mom found herself responsible for cleaning and feeding Danny just as she had predicted. She decided that the children were not living up to their promise. So she resolved to find a new owner for the puppy dog, Danny. Mom was quite surprised to find that the children's reactions were mild. One of them remarked matter of factly, we'll miss him. Yes, mom answered, we will miss him but he's too much work for one person. And since I'm the one that has to do all the work, I say he goes. But protested another child, if he wouldn't eat so much and wouldn't be so messy, could we keep him? Mom held her ground. It's time to take Danny to his new home. With one voice, and in tearful outrage, the children reacted. Danny, they sobbed. We thought you said daddy. Well, it's true. Daddies would be easier to deal with that they wouldn't eat so much and wouldn't be so messy. It's tough being a dad. And we give thanks this morning for all the fine fathers in our church family. In Matthew 10, verses 29 to 31, the gospel lesson for this Sunday, Jesus says something remarkable about his daddy. You'll remember that Jesus called his heavenly father, Abba, which means daddy. Christ sent out his 12 disciples knowing that they would face opposition and experience persecution. He urged them, to be unafraid, for all things would be open and disclosed to them. Their ministry was going to be open, open to the light of day. Jesus's ministry was to be proclaimed and not whispered. The body, yes, could be killed, but not the soul. They were to fear God and recognize that God cared for them immensely. Like the millions of sparrows that we see flying through the air from New Delhi, India to Santiago, Chile, all the way to our area, God cares for the sparrow and all of us. Our Father in heaven knows the number of hairs upon our head. Our heavenly parents love for us is intensive and it's also extensive. Jesus' love for us is so inclusive and so individualized. None of us are ever forgotten or abandoned. So don't be afraid, dear disciples. God loves the sparrows and God loves each of us. The Matthew 10 passage of scripture comes to us on this Father's Day as God's word to a fearful people. Many do not feel loved right now in our violent society. A deadly virus scares all of us, especially our children. Masses of people live in fear caused by the tyranny of autocratic leaders. Sometimes the shadows scare us in the dark of night. Don't be afraid. 
Fear not. Let not your heart be troubled, Jesus says. We hear these key scriptural passages because our Lord Jesus was constantly dealing with the fear of people held inside of themselves. There was an amusing incident in Oregon a while back in which deputies received a 9-11 call to a home for a burglary in progress. It seems that a woman was reporting that a stranger was in her bathroom and that the stranger had the bathroom door locked. She said she could see shadows moving under the door. Within minutes, several deputies surrounded the home, calling for a canine team as backup. They said they could hear a rustling noise coming from the bathroom. After calling to the suspect several times over a loudspeaker, deputies went into the home with their guns drawn. And after forcing open the bathroom door, deputies found the villain. As we entered the home, we could hear rustling in the bathroom. The Washington County Sheriff's Deputy Rogers wrote in his report of the incident. We made several announcements and the rustling became more frequent. We breached the bathroom door and encountered a very thorough vacuuming job being done by a Roomba robotic vacuum cleaner. No burglar, just a very conscientious Roomba doing its job. No word on whether deputies filed charges in the incident, said a local reporter, but the suspect's record appears to be clean. Amazing what kind of havoc fear can create in our lives. Fear can be a tyrant in our lives. The late actor, Janet Lee who starred in Alfred Hitchcock's movie Psycho, left the movie with a lifelong fear of taking showers. She took baths and always faced the curtain when she had to take a shower in a hotel or a friend's home. The shower scene from that Psycho movie left Janet with panic attacks as she was always locking doors and windows. But the good news for all of us this morning is that our Heavenly Father is always with us. We are not alone. Not too long ago, a viral video was making the rounds featuring an autistic boy singing Let It Go from the movie Frozen at his school's talent show. About 30 seconds into the performance, the boy's nerves started to kick in. He started to forget the lyrics. This was the moment when his imagination was creating all kinds of negative thoughts about what would happen next. Then something happened. The crowd began to sing along with him, softly. The volume rose as they all sang together. The autistic boy began to sense the crowd's support and began to sing with more confidence. They sang and clapped their hands with him and he was able to finish the song. At the end, he stood proudly as the audience applauded. Fear can be a horrible thing. I find it interesting that the National Basketball Association recently chose the phrase, it's all good, as their official slogan. I like that phrase, it's all good, for it truly has the intention of our Heavenly Father at heart. In the beginning of the book of Genesis, this is what God said seven times as God looked over all that God had created. It's all good. God loves the sparrow. God loves each of us. God loves our fearful lives intensely and with great care. A pastor out in Ohio told a story about a woman who was going through some difficult and trying circumstances. 
We've all been there. There were problems in her marriage. There were problems at her job. She was lonely, dejected, and feeling isolated. She felt so low that she didn't think she would ever experience any joy in her life. However, one day, when she was sitting in her kitchen, weeping her heart out, she noticed a small sparrow. Somehow, the bird had gotten into her kitchen. That's such an unusual experience that a believing heart might wonder if it was a messenger from God. Anyhow, she opened the door, thinking the sparrow would simply fly out. But that's not the way things turned out. There was a closed window just above the door. And instead of flying out of the door, the sparrow kept trying to fly out through the closed window. Several times the sparrow flew at the closed window. Each time it would collide with the glass and each time it would become weaker. Soon the little bird was so weak, it was aligned not with the window, but with the door beneath. Finally, it got so weak that it could no longer fly. It could only walk. But the story has a happy ending. When it could no longer fly, it simply walked out the door to freedom. As the woman watched the sparrow, she had a spiritually revealing moment, one from God. She had been acting like the sparrow. Each time she was knocked down by life, she tried in her own way to overcome the defeat. Reacting harshly to her family, not giving her best at work, and paying back evil for evil, these were not working for her at all. Like the sparrow, she decided that she simply needed to walk humbly in the power of God's grace and mercy. To overcome her fears, she needed to turn it over to God and let God work out her heartaches and difficulties. Brothers and sisters, let us seek a new consciousness on this Father's Day. As we realize that we are not alone and that we can grow in God's love with greater confidence. Indeed, we are worth more than two sparrows. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. The tentacles of fear, hatred, distrust, and anger are reaching out for our souls today. Gracious God, help us on this Father's Day of 2020 to experience the joy of knowing that we are not alone. Your Holy Spirit stands to comfort us in all situations. Wrapped in your love, Heavenly Father, we can walk confidently through all situations. Give our fathers strength and confidence and great love this day. Be with our families where love is nurtured and guidance is given. And during this deathly pandemic, may we see your spirit boldly guiding and protecting us. Watch over our loved ones and all the people who are daily risking their lives for us. May our nation find shelter in your parental care. Let the world rejoice this morning as it affirms that our world is a part of your wondrous creation. This is our Father's world. Speak softly to all those who are hurting, to all those who are experiencing the ravages of grief. Be a strong rock for them to cling to and a shelter in the time of storm. Comfort our children as a loving parent and soothe 
their troubled brows with your holy balm. And let your healing spirit wash over us. For we know, O oh Lord, that your love is great and that we are very special to you. Hear our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Kathy Fry for that beautiful uh, piece of music. Uh, Kathy composed that a number of years ago and truly speaks to our hearts on this uh, Father's Day Sunday. Thank you, Kathy. Each week we are gathering for virtual worship on Sunday morning. Whether you join us live on Zoom, online, by phone, or through YouTube, or you watch the recording of the service, at another time. This worship time together enables us to see and hear our Freedom's family and to continue to grow in faith together. Through these difficult days, worshiping together virtually allows us to create a sense of community that is inherent in church life. As we continue this period of social distancing and isolation, it becomes an increasingly important that we check in on one another to ward off loneliness and depression. If you are struggling in any way and need help, we are here for you and urge you to reach out. The church answering machine gets checked regularly, as does its email, and my phone number and email address are listed in our Freedom's Church directory. We urge church members to support each other in prayer, with trust, and with an ever 
an ever-strengthening hope. Please remember, brothers and sisters, to mail your offering to the church. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Let us keep Freedom's Church strong and healthy. And now will you join me as we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. After the benediction, you may stay on the phone or online if you'd like. Even if you only stay just to say hi, we'd love to see you. My daughter, Julie, will be enabling everyone to speak and to be seen if you choose to be. It takes a few minutes for Julie to enable everyone who's worshiping with us to be seen. So if you can't talk right away, you should be able to very shortly. To be seen on Zoom, click the start video button when prompted and wait a few seconds. My wife, Kathy and I, and Julie, Look forward to seeing and talking to all of you. And now may we close our worship with faith of our fathers. Jesus to lift up and fill your heart. May you sense the power of the Holy Spirit. Depart in peace. Amen. Mm -hmm.
We always forget. I know. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Dory. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Reverend Fry. And everyone. How are you today? Yes. I'll tell you one thing. I didn't get the email from uh you are unmuted. I hear you now. And I'm promoting everyone's video. There we go. Hey, good, because we Hi, Sarah. Have, uh, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing fine. Happy Father's Day to all my fr men friendly. There you Wait. go. Thank you. From St. Sarah McMaster. Glad to have you on here today. Here. Hello, Good morning, everyone. How are you doing, Sharon? Hi. Hi, sir. There's Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Yeah. Wayne and Barb. Hello. This came up. Hello. There's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. There's Kelly. Hi, Carol. Hello, Kelly. Hi. Hi, Carol. There's Kelly. Hi, Carol. Hello, Andy. Hi, oh, Andy. Andy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is Mabel. Hello, Lee. Hi, Carol There's and Lee. Lee. Hello, Lee. Hello, Lee. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. Hi, Kathy. There's Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, this is I Mabel. Me. Hi, Mabel. How are you? Hi, today? Mabel. Oh, Hi, Mabel. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning from the Boyers. Oh, Dave. Hi, Dave. Dave. outside today. Hi, Dave. Oh, good morning. You might see me. Kathy, I oh, just have my wanted to tell. Oops, Kathy, I just wanted to tell you that solo was beautiful. Thank you. It was. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Hello, cheers. <laughs> Hello to the Moyers. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Yep. Hi, Dave. Dave's Morning. out there on the deck again. Right, Dave? That's right. Oh, there we go. That's your Hi. spot out there. Hi. Hey, there's Tom and Sharon. Hi. How you doing? Hi. We're seeing you this week. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing the dude. Yeah, there's Terry and Judy. Hi, Terry and Judy. Yes, hi. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Hello. Hello. Good morning, Hello. Good morning. Right. Joe. Don't see the monkeys. Good morning. Yet. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Good to Happy see you this morning. Day. Yeah, I'm fine. Hello, oh, Bruce. Oh, hi. Sarah. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Hello. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Carol and me. There's Bob. Hi, Pastor. Hi, everybody. Father's Day. We're on here today. Hey, how you doing, hey, folks? Hey, there's Ron. Hey, Don. Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Fine, happy oh, Father's Dick. Day. I saw a glimpse of Dick. Same to you, Ron. <laughs> Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Hey, thank you. Thank and you, you as well. There's Cheryl. Hi, Kay. How She's are you? She's up front. Oh, oh, Shirley. There we are. There's Kathy oh. and me. How you doing? Hi, Shirley. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Dick and Kathy. Shirley. Hi, Naomi and Ron. Hi, honey. Ron, say something. I must go. Bye. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Matthews. Hi, Bruce. 
And the road. Bar, Wayne. Well, happy well, birthday, Wayne. Well, hi, Bob and Wayne. Hello. Hi, Bob and Wayne. There's a couple of people. Hi, Sarah. Hi. The book is looking oh, good. Hi, Well, the Boyers are signing out. Happy Father's Day to all. Thank you, Terry. Why are you signing out? Good week. Wayne, how are you? Okay. Good. Good to see you both. Are you signing out? Yeah, I'm signing out. Daughter. Hey, they start coming back. Julie, thank you for doing this. Hey there, Wayne and yeah. Jesse. Hi. 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 How are you today? Huh? Good. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Lee. Hi, Hi Bob and Wayne. Technical difficulties. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. 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 With the sports, for the that's game. Julie. Hi, huh, Julie. <laughs> On the golf course. Hi. Thanks for everything. Oh, oh, who said you said that. You. Oh, your enemies. Hey, they love you. Frenemies. Hey, from Lynn and Mabel. Everybody have a great Father's Day. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Mabel. Hi. Thinking of you. We're thinking of you, Mabel, Lynn. Um, My son passed away this week. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, Mabel. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, son. Yeah. Bobby. Mabel's son passed away, honey. Lynn Boyer's uncle. I think he was sick, though. I think he had cancer. We're so keeping you in our prayers and sending you so much love, Mabel and Lynn. Oh, yeah. We all love you, Mabel. Thank you. Yes, Mabel. I thought there was you, too. Thank you. Don't worry, I sent cards already. Kathy, that was a beautiful solo this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yes Kathy, that was beautiful. Kathy, you're going to hold me a lot of hugs. Yeah. Lots of hugs, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, that's, I, one of, that's one of the blessings yeah. of my life. She's just singing in my life all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Wait, wait. Singing the song. Hello. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy Father's Day. Hi, everybody. Have a good day, Thank everybody. You. Take care. Bye. We're going to say goodbye, everyone. Take care now. Bye. Hey, bye bye. 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 Happy Father's Day, everybody. Yes, Thanks. happy Father's Day, everybody. Hi, are you done? Yes. Take care. Okay. Barb and Wayne, I have see their cameras day. working this week. Yep. Okay. Okay, I hope everyone has a good week. Hi, see you Thank next you. Sunday. Yeah. Hey. Have yeah. a good day. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. See you Father's next week. Day, Thank you. Hey, then. hi, Sue. Hi, Honor. Hi. How are you doing today? We're good. 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 Glad to hear it. Glad you were able to be on here with us this morning. Mabel, you take care. You too. Have a good week. Uh huh. Thank take you. care. Hello, Eric and Veronica. How are Eric and Veronica doing today? Oh, the Chris are too. Dan and Julie are on with us. I see they're muted. Yeah. Well, we hope everybody has a good week. Happy Father's Day to everyone. And we will, oh, there we go. The there show we go. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today? Came on. Yep. Fine. No, oh, Eric just left. Okay. Happy Father's <laughs> Day, Eric. Yeah. Thank you. I will tell him thank you very much. Yeah. How's the baby doing? <laughs> Growing. Yep. He's gaining weight. He's still a little peanut, but he's gaining weight. Yep. They go yeah, so fast. Right. You have to enjoy those peanut days. No, I know. Yeah. Hard to do right now, but uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. We can see him. Haven't held him, but we can see him. I know oh, that's that hurts. Good. That hurts. <laughs> yeah. Well, so our, our best to all of them. Thank uh, you. 
Mm -hmm. We're gonna be uh, we're going back. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Take care. And Julie, you okay? Yeah, yeah just fine. Yeah, got my, yeah, got my yeah, results yeah, from the hospital and everything's good. Okay. Yes, it's good to have you on here this morning. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up here, okay? Happy Father's Day. Take care. Happy Father's Day, Dan. Happy Father's Day to you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.